We want to rewrite this as an equivalent expression, and they give us 5 over 4y squared x. And we want to write that as something over 32y cubed x squared. So here's how you approach these. And this is a, uh, a skill that will come in really handy um, as we move forward. You Let's leave some space there. OK, and then we don't know what this top is, but we know the bottom, the denominator here, 32y cubed x squared. OK, so we kind of ask ourselves here, so times, what do we need to add to this denominator to make it match up with this denominator over here? We have a 4. We need it to be 32. So we'll multiply by 8, because 8 times 4 is 32. Similarly, we have a y squared, but we need a y cubed. So I'm going to add in a single y, because y squared times y is y cubed. And finally, we have an x, but we need an x squared. So I'm going to add in one more x. Now, you can't just go around multiplying denominators by something without also multiplying the numerator. So 8xy goes on the top as well. OK, so whatever you do, you always copy and paste it directly to the numerator. right? And some, some texts write an enormous 1 around this. So let's see here. We'll, we'll do it. I won't do this often, but it's one way to think about it. This is all one giant 1, right? Because we're allowed to multiply by 1. Um, so by doing the same thing in the numerator and denominator, we're really just multiplying by 1. OK, so let's clean it up. We'll multiply across the top, and that tells us what goes in this slot here. So it looks like we have 40xy, and that's the answer we're looking for, 40xy. Let's try another one of these. OK, here we have 4x plus 1 over 3x plus 6, and we want to write that as something, we don't know what, divided by 3y times x plus 2. OK, so let's, let's take this first term. We'll leave the, the numerator alone, but let's factor out the denominator so we see what we're working with here. We've, I'm factoring out a GCF, which is 3. That leaves us with x plus 2 left behind. OK, now the question is, what do we have to multiply that by to get our desired denominator over here? 3y times x plus 2. OK, let's see. Well, we have the 3, we have the x plus 2. The only thing we're missing is this y. So let's add that in, y. And anything you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Again, because really, we're multiplying by this ginormous 1. Whoops. Let's make it look like a 1, to the extent that this even looks like a 1. OK, that just makes it worse. You get the idea. Uh, maybe I'll stop with those 1s after this, after this one. OK, so now we have the same denominator, 3y and x plus 2. So we just multiply the numerators across. Make sure, right, when we're multiplying, we're multiplying this whole thing. So I'm going to put my safety parentheses around these because this y applies to everything. All right, here we go. So y, 4x plus 1. And there we go. 